We believe that if you want to change the world, you have to start by changing an individual. I want to leap over buildings, want to fly over the shores, save the people from the villains, catch the crooks who rob the stores. My wife and I, we're, we're, we're blessed. We've got 11 kids and it keeps us jumping and it keeps us going and, and you know, it keeps me busy because, you know, it takes a lot of haircuts to feed 11 kids. So I try to stay busy and uh, try to keep up with them, but they, they keep me on top of my game and they keep me focused and, and, and driven. And I mean, they keep me looking at the new trends and what's going on. And so more than just the people who walk in here, you know, cause they like some crazy stuff, but you know, that, that's what we do. We, we, we take the crazy and, and we make it cool. Big Jeff. Big Jeff's been at the shop since the very beginning almost. Um, he was one of the first staff hired when locals opened five years ago and is the only one left from that era who stuck around that long. So he has got more than a decade of experience as a barber, a ton of experience here as part of the locals team. Really when we think of locals barbershop, Jeff has to be included in the story we tell about it because he's been around since the very beginning. I took a trip to Chicago um, and you know we got we rented a car and ended up getting stranded and We'd been a few days without, you know, with, without sleep, and that's the, that's the worst thing I can say. I wasn't high, I wasn't drunk, you know, but I, I was I was young. I mean, that's the the, the one thing that was kind of consistent. You know, that's what made, led me to my bad decision. And we stuck some people up, and we took their car, and you know, that ended up me being, you know, sentenced to 14 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. I was a kid when that happened, but. I grew up real fast. Barbershops are the crossroads of America. You get the people who work at McDonald's, you get your people who work at T. Rowe Price, and they're all coming here and they're meeting. So we become kind of crossing guards, if you will, telling people, hey, you can try this or you can do this. It's safe to do that. And that's where, that's for me, that's where I want to live my life. It's allowed me to number one, not just see myself differently, but it's also allowed me to help other people see themselves differently, that, that their story doesn't have to end here, that you know, it's not about this you know, patch I've got missing in my head, or it's not about this bad haircut I got, or that I cut one of my eyebrows off, that my story doesn't end here. And so we learned that customers who walk in our door don't come in because they want to buy a haircut. There's no rule or law, except for the cultural laws, that say they need to get their hair cut a particular way. What they're looking for is self-confidence. They want to feel good about themselves when they leave our shop. So we don't sell haircuts. We sell an experience that gives them self-confidence. <laughs>